Hi, my name is Lauren, and today I'm going to be going over Practical Skill Lab 5, which involves the non-sterile compounding of an ointment for a patient. So without further ado, let's begin. So in order to properly um, prepare the, not to do the non-sterile compounding of the ointment, you have to, you have to do mathematical calculations. So what I have here is for the nitroglycerin ointment, it's 60 grams and it's 0.2%. So in order to find out how much of this you actually need to put in the prescription, I took 0.2 and I multiplied it. Well, I set up an equation. So I did 0.2 times 60, because that's how much is in the ointment. And I set it equal to 2x. So when you do the math, it ends up being 12 equals 2x. You divide both sides by two, and it comes to it comes out to be that you only need six grams of this ointment. So you're only gonna need six grams of the nitro ointment. And then it works out where you will only need 54 grams of the ointment base. And you get that because, so in the ointment base, there's 60 grams. And you would subtract the six grams that you got from the nitro uh, meth. Um, and you'd subtract it from that to get 54 grams for the ointment base. So now what you would need to do is you have to figure out what is called the margin of error. And what that is, is that you need to, you need to give yourself because when you make ointments from scratch, it's not always gonna be precise. So we give ourselves a margin so we don't ever have to worry about getting exact numbers. So what you would do is for the 2% nitroglycerin ointment, you would take the six grams, which we got, and since the margin of error is plus or minus 10%, you'd multiply it by 0.1 and you'd get 0 0.6. So to get the minimum, you would do six minus 0 0.6, and that would be 5.4. So that's the minimum for the margin of error. And then for the maximum, you would do six plus 0 0.6 to get 6.6 .6 grams. So now to find the margin of error for the ointment base, you would take 54, which you got, um, previously, and you would multiply that by 0 0.1 to get 5.4. So for the minimum, you would do 54 minus 5.4, which comes out to be 48.6 grams. And then for the maximum, you would do 54 plus 5.4, and that result would be 59.4 grams. So now that we figure out all the calculations, it's time to gather all the materials to get ready. So what we have is we've got the nitroglycerin ointment, the ointment base, ointment paper, we have a scale, uh, an empty container to put the prescription in, we have a weighing boat and some other uh, ointment paper, spatulas, alcohol pads to disinfect, and then we also have the nitro gloves. And now I'll be washing my hands using the aseptic hand washing technique. Remember to always keep your fingers pointing down towards the bottom of the sink. Get in between. Sing happy birthday twice. That's how you know that you've done. You've washed your hands long enough. Remember to never rub, always pat. and my hands are all clean. So now I'm gonna be putting on the nitro gloves and then I'm gonna be disinfecting everything.
have to sanitize the weighing boat. spatulas now I'm ready to start so now I'm going to be weighing the ointment base so First, we're going to turn this on. trying to get it between 48.6 or 59.4. Right now I'm on 44.7. So now we're just going to add a little bit more. I got it right at 48.6, but I just want to give a little bit more just to make sure. And just got a 50.6. So now I'm going to be weighing the nitroglycerin ointment. So I'm going to put it on this ointment paper. It could be between 5.4 and 6.6. .6. Right now I'm on 3.4. So let's see. Just have to wait for the weight to... Okay. And now I'm going to be mixing both these ingredients now that they're all measured and weighed out using the spatulation method. So, let's see. I'm doing all this on a piece of ointment paper. Let's see. over here. The spatulation method is just basically where you combine the ingredients. I've read that people compare it to either like you're mixing ingredients, baking a cake, or, um, or if you're an artist, you this is how you can be combining colors. Try to get the right one for when you're painting. Let's see. Then whichever way you're moving it, you want to try to hold the side. So 
you don't get the kind of resistance that I've gotten a few times. <laughs> have to make sure all the ingredients are evenly incorporated. There we go. And just like if you're mixing a cake, just try to scrape the bottom so you get all the elements of the, both the ointment base and the actual element that you're adding to it. So in this case, it's the nitroglycerin. So now that that's mixed, I'm going to be putting it into this container here. So now I'm going to be adding the um, ointment into this container. And you want to make sure that you completely get the bottom. You don't want to get any kind of air bubbles in there. Make sure that it's evenly in in the bottom. As I'm going, I just like making sure that I'm getting each side, eliminating any pockets that I might see. Trying to make the top a little bit more presentable. Try to smooth it out. Then let's see. And this is what it should look like when you're done. Now that you've seen it, I'm going to put the top on. Okay, and then let me see. Now I'm going to label the prescription.
And now that it's labeled, I'm going to assign the correct beyond use date. So since today is February 3rd, 2022, the beyond use date would be, let me just double check. I'll say March 5th, 2022 is the beyond use date for the prescription. And let's see. And then I have to initial prescription. Okay. And now, now I filled out the compounding record. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up all the materials now using another alcohol wipe. That open. Start with the scale. My special is all clean. And that's it.